What would you do if you had a derelict plot in an industrial neighborhood? In this video, we highlight one of the best ways you can rehabilitate such a challenging site. In this video, we bring to you the sea train container house on an industrial neighborhood of downtown Los Angeles, California. Stay tuned to find out more about this modern container home. Welcome back. The Sea Train residence is an eco-friendly home, is a unique sculptural combination of shipping containers, steel, and glass. The house is built using four shipping containers, which sit three feet above the ground on reclaimed earth in a courtyard arrangement of steel and glass volumes to create a 3,000 square foot residence. The containers are stacked two on two on either end of the house and covered with a steel roof to enclose a central living space in between. The central living space is separated from the front garden by an expansive glass wall. The big glass facade on the front of the house creates the illusion of a continuous glass fenestration. The slanted roof is supported by two massive inverted steel beams. The cross beams were made from recycled Douglas fir from a local construction site. The inclined angle of the roof is ideal for passive ventilation of the house through the stack effect. To get to the front door, one must pass around an astotium covered bum then walk along a winding path next to an 85 foot long stream with a waterfall and hundreds of varieties of plants with shrubs and flowers to attract butterflies and dragonflies throughout the year. The main entrance opens into a large high ceiling open plan living room with a cozy lounge space nicely furnished with a classy and modern couch adorned with lots of throw pillows, a custom coffee table, and with a big custom floor mat to define the sitting area. The stunning kitchen is sure to exceed the expectations of even most designing gourmet kitchens and is decked out with name brand appliances a center island which can serve as a breakfast area, under the counter custom designed cabinets, a cozy breakfast nook in one of the corners of the living room. The defining feature of the main living area in the kitchen and the dining is the waterfall. The waterfall supplies recycled water to an indoor fountain and the koi pond made from a recycled grain trailer. Each storage container has its own individual function. One is the entertainment and library space. Another is a dining room, office space overlooking the garden below. Another serves as the bathroom and laundry room. Yet another is used as a master bedroom a visually dramatic and protruding volume that wraps around the upper part of the house. The footbridge on the indoor pool takes you to a spacious media room and library. On top of the media room and the library is the master bedroom, which is accessed by a wooden single flight staircase masked by a 15 foot high flagstone. The master bedroom falls under the roof's highest section. It features a king-sized bed, comfortable with bedside lamps, and a small sitting area. The front end of the master bedroom container was replaced with an arrangement of glass and steel that allows for ventilation and views of the garden. In addition, 
It is connected to a skylit bathroom fitted with an elevated window, pale gray slate, and banana-colored walls which enhance the natural lighting in the minimalist bathroom space. The room's floors alternate between concrete and dark cherry wood and is enlivened by a succession of changes in levels. This unfuzzy space allows for the dynamic interplay of materials and forms and contrasts the corrugated container walls, the exposed wooden beams, the exposed mechanical ventilation ductwork to bring out the industrial vibe of the design. The abundant use of glass maximizes on natural lighting throughout the house, encouraging uninterrupted visual connections with the leafy surroundings. The interior of the house is painted light colors to create a sense of openness awash with natural light from the sizable fenestrations, helping to kill any claustrophobic feel synonymous with shipping container spaces. From the street elevation, the front gate's rusty surface looks menacing, but it also evokes the austere of beauty of a Richard Sierra sculpture. The large openings and frames of the house create a seamless indoor-outdoor connection. The nicely landscaped gardens with ponds, waterfalls, and streams the tropical trees around the building help to soften the industrial vibe of the design. We love everything about this rehabilitated, derelict industrial plot in downtown LA. Which part of this house appeals to you the most? Kindly give us your opinion by post section below. If you like this video as usual, give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it. You are encouraged to subscribe to our YouTube channel for these and more amazing weekly videos on shipping container living. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. If you love shipping container homes or you are planning on building one, our YouTube channel is a one-stop shop for a complete guide on how to design, how to build, how to insulate, and a collection of hundreds of blueprints for container homes designs. In addition, we also cover case studies of the best homes made from shipping containers from around the world. For this and more, Feel free to subscribe and remember to click on the bell so that you don't miss out on any of our amazing weekly videos. You can also contact us on our website sheltermode.com or follow us on social media platforms through the links in the description below.